we're going to be converting one of these old propane tanks into a fuel cell. that was back here I've still got a few drums I got metal roofing a little bit of concrete and a little bit of garbage to get rid of I've also still got a couple propane tanks so we're gonna make a fuel tank out of one of these let's get it emptied out so we can cut on it safely and start building us a fuel tank with this style of propane tank the valve if you open it will just release pressure on the updated or newer style you have to have this to push inside of there and open this kind of valve so if you just open it it does not release any pressure from these newer style valves so just because you open it and don't hear pssst, don't think that it's empty guys choppers out here playing with the neighbor dog they like to run up and down the fence <laughs> but back to our project with the tanks okay in order to make sure one of these is empty even though we've got the valve open you're gonna want to run water inside of it because water is heavier than propane, so the water pushes the propane out. I kept on brainstorming on it. Came up with a little small funnel from the dollar store. And I'm pressing my hose to it. And that's forcing the water in there. You can hear it. Every once in a while, I let the bubbles out like that and force more water. Two thousand years later. Oh, I've literally had these in the backyard upside down like this for months now. And uh, propane, I guess, is heavier than air. So if you stick it upside down, the propane should go out the bottom and uh, clear out the tank for you. Doesn't mean that I'm going to consider it safe, even though I filled it with water and then I left it upside down forever. I'm still going to take my precautions. And by being careful, I mean setting up a camera, so at least if I go boom... Something really cool? <laughs> Some people can look at it and laugh! <laughs> I got this valve shut, just in case. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut these welds and get this guard out of the way so that I can get that valve removed. There we go. Only strap I've got is about 15 miles long. Makes it real easy. But get fed through there. Hopefully the right way. Hopefully that's tight enough. We'll see. No pop 
dropped a little. You can still smell a little bit of propane. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it with water again. So I can't stress to you enough how stupid drilling into or welding on a propane tank is. So if you have any kind of brains, don't follow my instructions. I'm far from intelligent for doing this. My wife reminded me many times. There we go. That should push all the rest of the gas out of there. So when I go to drilling into this thing and welding, we don't got to worry. But like I said, I'm just some dumbass, so don't follow my direction. Pushed out of that tank. So we'll drain the water out and get to work. We cleaned it out. We've rinsed it with water. We've left it upside down. We rinsed it with water again. I'm gonna start drilling some holes into this guy. The valve that we took out is actually three quarter inch MPT. That three quarter inch MPT, we're gonna adapt it to 5 16 barb and have our return going in there. We're gonna drill a hole and put this half inch pipe we're going to cut it to the right size and have it go all the way down to the bottom and then adapt to a 3 8 hose that's what's going to feed our engine and then for the filler neck i got this inch and a quarter pipe and so we're going to cut a hole and weld that up as well first we're going to drill a hole with a normal bit and then we'll step bit it out to about three quarter for this half inch pipe that so we got to cut this to length so that just a little bit of thread comes out the top and we know that that's going all the way down to the bottom I cut this smaller pipe down and I put a bunch of slices into the end so that even sitting up against the bottom it's gonna be able to suck fuel now this other pipe I cut it off cut it off a little bit uneven where I can get a piece to sit down on that pretty well and now I'm going to step bit this out to an inch and a quarter which is what this inside diameter is and then when I set that on there I can weld around it and that'll be my filler neck like we got a quarter inch and a quarter hole over here for the filler neck to weld around we got the suction tube and then we're gonna do a return and a vent right here all right guys so I read online good way to get rid of this black uh, oxidation oxidization the coating on these black iron pipes is some PVC cleaner ABS pipe cleaner so Got me some rags, and we're going to give this a shot. I might end up looking like a dummy and just make it a mess, or it might work. Let's find out. Oh, if I can open it. There we go. I win. tell but all the black is off of it it's now just silver plain pipe this one <laughs> disc and get it cleaned up a little.
There we go. We also got the spots that the top ring used to be welded to all smoothed down. Ow! Don't put your hand where you just got done uh, lap wheeling. It's kind of warm. This piece of uh, plastic off the threads. Don't want it melting to it. Throw on some gloves. And we're using the little hex full gen cheap Amazon welder. Uh, I did a review of it several months back. It's worked out pretty decent for me. I'm not going to say it's the highest quality, but it works for a home shop type individual like myself. So, I'm only running on 110. Hopefully it doesn't just kick my breaker, but we'll see. So there's my weld. Like I said, it's flux core, and I'm just running 110 right now on a cheap little welder, but should hold, I'm hoping. welds like I said not the absolute best but I'm hoping I'm they hold fuel no leaky leakies we'll see okay so I added the pipe to the middle just to get the fill height higher and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with water and see if any of my welds are seeping water and also this gives me a chance to uh, rinse it out a few times squish it around and dump it out so if any of my uh, sanding and cutting etc waste went inside which more than likely it did hopefully I can squish it around and dump it out so far so good I don't see any uh, obvious leaking and to be honest this fuel tank is never really gonna be filled that high it's going to be down here, so it's just going to get little splashes up here around my welds. And remember, this is a tube all the way down, so my weld doesn't affect its suction. So, looks like we were successful in turning this propane tank into a fuel tank. And that's what we come up with, guys. So, we got the filler neck. We've got the return line which is 5 16 on one of these 7.3 diesels. This is just gonna be a vent hose. And this guy is to supply the engine. That's a 3 8 barb fitting. If you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Follow along with this 7.3 IDI diesel race truck build we're putting together. Hit that thumbs up on the video. Much appreciated by this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. Next week video is gonna be remounting this flatbed here. Week after that, we're gonna be setting up this here roll bar on the back. So I'll see you next Sunday. Till then, believe in what God gave you, take on some projects, build, fix, create. Keep building shit, guys.